Many new functionalities have been included in Modular Manager 2.3. This short informal video outlines the most important changes. Let's look at some of these. It's not possible to add in the record summary window most of the 150 fields contained in a module. You can even add the balance on the current date and each loan's repayment ratio. You can sort the columns as you wish. To add fields, go to Tools, Settings, and Record Summary Window. Simply click on the fields that you wish to add in the main window. Simply click on the arrow and they will be added to our list. You can delete fields in the same manner by clicking here. You can now create scroll menus in seconds. Go to Tools, Settings, and choose among the custom fields or other fields that allow for scroll menus. You determine the values or choices in these fields in a few seconds. So let's add for a region in our text field, let's add a new central section. Accept, and we are done. Principal, fees, penalties, insurance and taxes can be tagged as not to bear interest. Let's be really nice and lend out $2,500 without interest. So we've got our additional principal. We also won't charge any interest on our fees and on this insurance. Simply right click with the mouse go on payments and say no interest on principal etc. So there you have it, that's simple. Let's take a quick look at some other features our clients have asked us for. For the record itself, we added the on hold record status. A new field was added in the borrower window to enter a file number as a number as opposed to text to allow sorting by number. The file number or numbers entered by the users will now appear in the record window header. Mobile or cell phone was added in the borrower and creditor windows. The description field in the data window, often used improperly to include notes, no longer has a limit of 360 characters. In the payment schedule, we added a new column to see the line number. Line comment is now up to 100 characters versus 40 in the previous versions. In the post payment tool, the nine custom fields from the borrower window are now included. Some users wanted to create a field called payment type and then use the payment update tool to sort the payments due by check, automatic debit, credit card, cash, etc. This tool can also be used easily to produce pre authorized payments for the month. For the reports, all custom fields can now be used in the rich text format data merge tool. We created a new data merge tool to allow the production of much more precise documents in PDF format. Over 20 new fields have also been added. These include data and calculations for fees, principal, balances, totals, date, methods, etc. For a look at other changes and to obtain more detail, go to www.margel.com forward slash get and see the release notes for the Margel Loan Manager.